What's up guys, it's you and welcome to uh, another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is actually episode 101 and we're going to be using uh, the same Hyper Offense team that we used in the uh, last episode. Just because it is one of my favorites um, that, you know, and figured I should go back to it because I wasn't really feeling any other team in addition to uh, wanting to uh, kind of bring back some nostalgia. Anyway, this guy's using a pretty cool team that uh, looks like it's focused on uh, trapping Empoleon. Because Empoleon is a really good switch into Beedrill and to Hydreigon, so if he can turn out on those, then it frees up a lot of room for uh, stuff like those two and Milotic. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with Fortress, seeing as he has zero ways to remove hazards, which is always nice. I can go ahead and get up my rocks right here as he does go for the Flare Blitz. Now I kind of have an option. Um, fire types are kind of a problem for this team, um, but I feel like a Spike is going to help me a lot more. Because um, Scarf Shadow just kind of eats his team alive with high jump kick so i'm gonna go ahead and get another spike up because don't really lose anything by it um and we'll see what item he is. actually no we won't see what item he is he's gonna take that zero percent recoil and uh does he die to any speed <laughs> um because actually no i'm gonna save entei because ideally the way I'm, i want to win is to weaken his team with shao and sweep with entei so i'm gonna go ahead and go actually should i do i'm gonna do that the other way around i think um so let me go ahead and uh, run this calc for Entei. You, you, offensive versus your boy, uh, Darmanitan. You, you, choice scarf. E speed is going to do 60 to 70. So not quite. That's unfortunate. He is locked into Flare Blitz, though. Um, he's not going to stay in, I don't think. Unless he's not locked into Flare Blitz, in which case that sucks. But I feel like he is, because um, 99% of these things are scarf. Um, well, not 99%, you guys get the point. He makes a good play, goes out into my Lodic, um, but, and that will be able to eat an E-Speed, but I get a pretty free switch into Heliolisk right here, um, and plus Darmanitan will be in E-Speed range when it comes back in, so that's always great. Goes for the recover. I'm gonna go for the, uh, Grass Knot, actually. Actually, I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice, because it's my best middle ground. I don't want this getting trapped by Doug Trio early. Um, that only did 38%, that's disappointing, as he goes for the recover. All right, I'm just going to start spamming T-Bolt then. Um, it's no biggie. Um, now, oh, I got absolutely styled on right there. Um, had I just, had I clicked Grass Knot, then uh, this would be a dead Doug Trio, but um, it was playing dumb, so consequentially that is not how it's going to work out. Um, what I'm going to do right here, though, is I'm going to go into Obama Snow, and I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I am clicking EQ, because I feel like he's going to be like, oh, that's a resist. I'm, I don't want to take an Ice-type attack. Um... Actually, I'm going to Seed Bomb, because Seed Bomb is definitely my safer play. Um, you're banded, right? Ah, you're not even banded. Nice. Because, um, to be honest, I feel like band really is the set set to run if you're going to run this thing. So, um, I'm feeling like Dewblade is my next most expendable member, because it kind of allows me to just spam priority. Um, and also, like, if he U-turns, then I can eat that. Um, but... And, and by spam priority, I meant like all, like two of my remaining members have priority. He just goes ahead and flare blitzes, which to be honest, I did feel like was his best play. So not gonna knock him for that. Um, either way, I'm going to go into Obama Snow because I feel like it is my best play. Um, I believe Ice Shard is a roll to knock out Beedrill after rocks. This thing's really strong, um, and it's also the thing that I do kind of need the least out of my remaining members. So I'm fine with it taking a, some damage from Rosie. Um, which I'm assuming he's going to go into right here, because that does seem like his best play. Um, did I choke? Yeah. I definitely choked. I should have gone out into Shao and clicked U-turn, and then gone into Entei, forced him into my Lodic, and gone back to Obama Snow. But, oh, he makes a bad play, I think. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click Ice Shard right here, because um, definitely my best play. Um, I could SD on the Draco miss if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling really real. Um, but I don't think it's really worth my time when I can just 2 it KO him right there. As he does reveal the Fire Blast, so that is pretty cool. He has Life Orb. Um, so, what am I going to do? High Jump Kick will knock out that. It's going to 2 it KO that. And it's going to do, it's going to 2 it KO that. Um, so I think, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into... Yeah, I have to go into this. This is kind of a difficult situation. Um, really unfortunate that uh, he chose to make that series of plays with Milotic, because um, really ended up coming back to hurt me. Um, 
either way I'm clicking high jump kick as long as I don't miss I have a chance um, it all depends on what he goes into next if he goes into B drill I'm definitely doubling to Ente um, because and say okay he goes into B drill like he's gonna be like oh I'll just click protect and knock him out like I feel like that is by far his best play um because he doesn't like pl please click protect he just went straight for the poison jab and thankfully he didn't get the poison which is nice but um I'm gonna go straight for the E speed right here because I feel like I kind of have to if he sacks this that's great I really don't see any reason for him to keep this oh now he goes okay so he actually made a play I'll give him that um so I'm just going to e-speed right here and uh, hope for the best. Let's see if we can win here. I don't think we can, um, but, you know, that's just sometimes how it goes. Um, when you let your thing that kills water types gets trapped, then it's kind of an issue. He goes into Roserade here, which I feel like is a really bad play um, because it gives me um, a really good probability to win. <laughs> um, so I'm just clicking e-speed right here because it's not even an issue. Uh, Rose, Roserade goes down, which is great. Um, although I suppose Roserade didn't do that much for him anyway. So he goes into my Lodic right here. Very good play. Well, not, not, I'm not going to praise his man too much. Like, my Lodic was the play he should make. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click E-Speed right here and uh, get off a crispy 28% as uh, he has no reason not to just click Recover until I die. Um, but I'd imagine he'll probably Scald right here, even though his best play is the PP stall E-Speed. Um, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm just clicking E-Speed right here, because, like I said, it's not even an issue. That's my dog. Hi, dog. Uh, yeah, he goes for the Scald, so he's giving me a chance. Um, if I get, like, a high roll with high jump kick or dodge a burn, I think I'm okay. Um, actually, Scald will do, like, 35 or 40%, so I gotta get a crit right here, I think. Um, we'll see, though. We shall definitely see. It, it'll be close either way. Um, 58 as he recovers. Okay. If I get a crit right here, your boy can win. Because <laughs> um, he won't be able to recover, which is great. Um, will not be able to recover um, off the damage. He can, like, continue to recover and try to hope for a miss, but, like, that's kind of dumb. Because um, he's just risking crit. Goes for the skull. That will knock me down into the range where he can just click protect. Um, so... You know, I end up going down right there. Uh, good plays on his part. Um, maybe he misclicks and doesn't click protect. Um, nah. So, good play. Uh, GG's. Uh, not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab one more, though. Hopefully break even on this episode like we did on the last one. Like, hyper offense isn't as good in the meta right now. Um, because, like, there is stuff that runs around that just, like, completely checks offense. And the meta has kind of stabilized it back down towards a bulkier state um got that power um this is who i'm facing right here um i'm assuming he's just gonna leave with this thing so it's not even a problem because actually he has kind of a scary team now that i think about it it's really fast but it's also very susceptible to priority so if i can weaken gligar that is very very nice um because then i can keep my hazards up and, and i think really rocks is the only thing i need right here um, because while, like, the residual on Sharpedo is nice, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Zam, uh, it's, like, Sash Magic Guard anyway. Um, it's nice for Hera, but I would rather just spin than explode versus, uh, Galvanish. So, assuming he leads that. Anyway, this guy's taking a while to make his move, so we're going to hit him with the timer and, uh, pause it. And I'll be right back when he chooses a lead. With Zam, which is not what I was expecting him to lead with at all. Um, although, yeah, he just goes for the Focus Blast. Good play, because it doesn't knock me in the Custap range. Um, and I kind of want to save this for later, but not really worth it. I'm just going to go for a Spike in case he goes for the Focus Blast and misses, which he does not, unfortunately. Um, but I can just go into Dewblade right here, because I don't think Dewblade is really doing a whole lot for me this game. Um, so... I'm just going to click Iron Head right here in case he decides to switch out, because um, then I can get better damage on something, which is always nice. Um, and I can probably SD versus, um, like he's not going to go out into Beedrill, he's not going to go out into Shark, but uh, I could see him going out into Glagger right here, which is why I would rather get an Iron Head off and not just like chip damage, I guess. So um, yeah, I'm clicking Iron Head right here, and this guy is taking forever to make his plays, but that's okay. Yeah, he does go into Hera right here, so I guess, yay, good play on my part. Um, I can just sneak right here and knock him out, which is very nice because now that Heracross is out of the way, like, huge problem off my plate, um, 
makes it a lot easier for uh, your boy Obama Snow to win. Um, he goes into Shark, which is an issue. Um, but I feel like I can just Iron Head, Sneak, Sneak. Um, as he goes for the crunch, that did a lot. Um, but I can knock him into the range to where it's hard for him to... Uh, can knock him into the range to where uh, he will die to Life Orb, which is very nice. So Dewblade put in a fair amount of work, um, knocking, taking down two Mons. And uh, right here, I feel like that um, Entei is without a doubt my best play. Um, because that, I believe, is a roll uh, for E-Speed after Rocks, and he goes into B-Drill, which is just fine by me. Because I can just go ahead and click E-Speed. Um, I did kind of lose my check to this, which is B-Drill. Um, but seeing as the remaining members of my team either have priority or or scarfed, I think it's okay. Anyway, I'm going to go into Heliolisk right here, because I really do see him doubling into a uh, Gligar, which he does. Um, so I just want to get some consistent damage off on this, because... You know, the more consistent damage you can get off on a really fat mon that walls most of your team, the better. Um, I think I have to break Zam's Sash to win with Obama Snow, but Obama Snow may just like serve the role as cleaning this game. Um, we'll, we'll see. We shall indeed see. Um, because I think the game plan is that Beedrill has already taken rocks. I can Hyper Voice 2 at KO this. Is he going to EQ? Gets his own rocks up. See, I feel like that's a really bad play. Um, because you basically just gave me your Gligar for free. Um, sure, it, like, hinders my pivoting ability, but, like, what are you actually going to do now, realistically? Like, he, are you going to go into B-Drill, take, take more rocks damage, and be threatened out by, like, whatever mod I bring out? Like, I really don't feel like it's a good play. I felt like Defog was definitely the play there, because it really helps Gavantula. But he goes out into B-Drill, you know. Um, I'm just going to click Hyper Voice and, you know, do whatever. It's cool. Um, he goes for the drill run, knocks me out, and I believe at this point Entei gets a kill. Um, or breaks a sash or whatever. Something something like that. Um, I realized I'm not going to have any time to SD against anything, because if I was going to SD versus something, it was Gligar. But, um, you know, E-Speed is going to knock out Beedrill. It'll break Zam's sash. It should knock out Yalvantula. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and calc this real quick. Is he, yeah, he goes into Galv, so goodbye. Um, didn't even need a calc it. Entei doing the work for me. Um, but yeah, this is a wrap, and this is why I like having teams with a lot of priority. It's because it allows me to play kind of crappy and get out of it, like get away with it. So um, yeah, we're, we'll go ahead and knock him out with the E speed right here, and uh, I think that'll be the last game we get. Yeah, that'll definitely be the last game we get for today. Look, Entei's bulky. He doesn't even die. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll definitely be the last game we get for today. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Um, I actually don't know what to do for comment question of the video. Uh oh, probably should have thought about that. Um, huh. Are you guys going anywhere uh, over the summer? Because you know, summer vacation is coming up. I have this week of school, next week of school, and then finals, and then I'm out for the summer, which is pretty nice. Uh, my school gets out really early, but you know, it's beside the point. Um, if this guy goes ahead and makes makes his move, we can go ahead and wrap this up, but um, come on, man, it's okay. Like, yeah, are you trying to like find out a way to win this? Because you can't. I'm Scarf, I have Ice Shard, like there's literally no way I can lose. Um, I think this guy probably just left, so we're gonna go ahead and sign off knowing that this is indeed a, a win, so he hit that X button. Um, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.